guys and gals. Second day of the trip here. I just slept at the dock here on Madeline Island and it was great. Just slept right out under the stars on the deck. It stayed plenty warm and listened to the wind all night. It was really cool. Let me turn the phone around and show you guys how the boats kind of settled in for how I'm going to use it on this trip. As my fellow adventurers know that, you know, it takes a day or two to kind of, whatever you're in, a camper, a car, a, a boat, or what have you, it, it takes a while to kind of figure out where everything goes, you know. And on the Sea Dory 16, it's about the minimal size that you can really get away with for camping. Um, and so what I've done, well, the angler especially without the, the sleeping cuddy, so I just put my bedding, I just kind of like fold it up and place it in there. There's, you know, extra prop and stuff behind the council there, but my bedding mostly goes there. And then the cooler, which I kind of use as a table also, draping my towels over the railing. Um, yeah, you know, just keep the back deck somewhat open. <clears throat> So I'm just taking it slow today, guys, doing about, oh, six or seven miles an hour, <laughs> trying to save fuel. I'm not really in a big hurry anyways. It's so beautiful out here, and the weather's really nice today. To give you an update on the progress, so, you know, I left La Point, I don't know, maybe an hour ago, and I'm crawling up Madeline Island right here, and that's a big bay back in there, which is a really reliable anchorage in bad weather you can see how far it goes down into the into the island there usually you can get away from you know nasty weather a lot of people go down there sailboats do and stuff lots of depth and i'm headed up to michigan island which is right there and there's a lighthouse on michigan island and it's the farthest eastern island of the apostles so that's probably why it has a lighthouse on it was you know ships I guess to this day, but you know, especially back in the day, you know, would be coming from the east across Lake Superior, aiming for the Apostles, and they could, you know, they'd start seeing Michigan Island pretty, pretty early. So, okay, guys, so we're just gonna keep crawling along, and we'll make Michigan Island here shortly. There it is. You should be able to see that, guys. Looks like they got a nice dock here for us to pull up on. Let's, let's take a closer look. I'd like to dock if I can, let's hit an anchor. Okay, we made it to Michigan Island. There's the stairs going up to the lighthouse. I think there's two up there. I think there's a, a new one that's unmanned, and then there's the old one from way back in the day. This dock is, you know, it's, half the cleats are broken and there's no there's like exposed bolts sticking out of the where you're supposed to dock kind of get the feeling like the park service really doesn't want you coming here <laughs> you can, I, i'll show you how i how i ended up docking the boat i had no choice so so the sea dory is easy you know you can beach it or what have you but if i had a you know a bigger boat if anything bigger i'd be forced to have to pull up on these sides and half the boards are broken there's like I said, there's exposed bolts and, you know, it, it would gouge up the side of your boat. So, I just, you know, half beached it, half tied it up. You can see there, and I had to tie it up to the some exposed boards because there's no cleats. <gasps> well, look at all these butterflies. Look at that. And I feel so lucky to be out here. So blessed. Michigan Island Light Station.
Let's go look at the original one first. It's very pretty. The lines, the style of this lighthouse is one of my favorites. Where the living quarters are attached to the, the tower. A fruitful enterprise. <clears throat> Keeper Roswell Pendergrast thought farmers throughout the Lake Superior region could make money growing fruit. Get a little up close here. It's like made out of rock, but they put some kind of plaster over it. It's just, it's very old world, old world feeling, you know, like something they would do 500 years ago in Europe, you know. And the most important building on the site, the old outhouse. I'd sure like to go up in that. I think they do interpretive tours once in a while. And many years ago when I came here with my ex-girlfriend, we just happened to show up when they were doing one, but I was too afraid to go up. They, they well, I'm gonna show you the, the new lighthouse, you know, the unmanned one here, it's a lot higher. And I remember my, my girlfriend at the time and her two young kids went up to the top and I just stayed down there and took pictures of them. So you can see I've been afraid of heights for a long time. Oh, here, let me show you. So you can see it's way up there. You can go all the way to the top and you can walk around that edge. Somewhere I have some pictures. Old phone somewhere. Yeah, it's a tall one. Okay guys, well, I think we pretty much saw everything up here. I'm gonna go back down the, the stairs here and go, exp uh, go explore the beaches down here at the dock. There's, I saw some nice rocks. Maybe we could find a couple of nice rocks to throw on board. This water is so clean and clear out here. These outer islands, they just it just turns it just turns really clear. It's even at Madeline Island in La Pointe there it's not, you know, it's kind of murky and I'm not really sure why, but I do remember this when you get out to all these outer islands out here, it just you can see down for like, you know, 20, 30 feet. Did your hobbler get stuck? That's what it's supposed to do. And it can't run away from me. Well guys, I don't know how much this will make sense on film here, but this is the very tip of Michigan Island. And then off in the distance right there is the beginning of Outer Island, which is where we're heading right now. And this is Stockton. And I'm tempted to go over to Stockton Island because there's there's an anchorage there or like a, here I'll try to show you on here. There's a spot right here has some trails, it has some docks. Very popular with like sailboaters and stuff to go in there. But I really want to go out to Outer. This is probably the closest I'm gonna to get to Outer Island. It's just one of those, it's one of those places, you know, it's one of those islands where you, you're, you don't pass it. You gotta kinda of be heading to it, you know? So we're just gonna keep going and we're gonna head out to Outer Island. We're gonna go out to the far northern tip of it where there's a really rugged lighthouse. There's a little sand spit on the south end of Outer Island. You can kind of see it right there on the chart. And I think we're gonna stop and check it out. 
spit a beach, comes out from the bottom of Outer Island. We're gonna stop here and take a closer look. It's amazing, it goes from like 150 feet up to just nothing. I can see the bottom right now. A little beach the dory here. I would say this is the nicest beach that I've laid my eyes on in the apostles. This trip or any of them that I've taken in the past, um, I'll turn the phone around here in a second, just kind of sell you on that statement. <laughs> it's a bold statement. There's so much beauty, there's so many beautiful beaches, you know, in all the islands, but. This one's pretty special. I know people do come out here, the, the locals and the people that kind of are in the know and they have the ability, you know, have the boat to come out here. Uh, they'll come out here sometimes and have beach fires and little cookouts and, you know, get togethers and stuff. But it's way out here. I mean, Outer Islands, appropriately named. One of the cool things about it that I think is that, you know, it comes out to this, this spit and you, so you have like two sides. So if the weather's coming in from over there, the northwest, you can come to this side of the spit, and it even goes way back in there, and you can anchor, and it's a great place to, I mean, it's it's protected unless you have weather coming in from the south, then of course you would just come around to the other side of the spit, and you'd go on that side. So it's a really versatile anchorage for getting out of weather in your boat. And... It also has a whole bunch of rocks. If you're a rock hound, I'm gonna do a little bit of combing here. See if I find some Omars. I got my heart set on Omars for this trip for some reason. But if I found something else, of course I'd pick it up too. But let's go out to the to the very tip there. Land's end. Let's go out to Land's End. The intrepid beagle explorer pulling her hobbler, her driftwood hobbler, to land's end. Will she make it? Will she make it? Oh hi, I'm the disembodied floating ahead of Wavy Gravy, star of the channel. I only have a second to tell you this. I don't like to swim, I'm spoiled rotten, and I like my treats. If you would donate a couple dollars, I'll send Brenton to the store and he'll get me some treats. Okay? Thanks! sad face. I'm trying to make you feel sorry for me. Is it working? <laughs> 